Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Thursday, March 26, 2020. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. You'll notice here that the ES is trading inside the previous session's range right now, inside that range, and is also holding above the breakout point from a couple of days back. We saw a push through the prior high. It held that high on a retest yesterday, and now it's holding inside day above. So at the moment, this looks uh, bullish. It looks like the, the flow to the upside remains intact. Uh, this also suggests that we could even see a test of two-day lows tomorrow and still see a failed new low. That could lead to a squeeze opportunity, maybe up toward uh, 2700 maybe a little bit higher. Uh, now, one thing that we have to continue to watch, though, is the fact that we are in the midst of a bearish down move. And this downtrend is showing, again, another rejection developing inside the Pima, uh, the Pima uh, trigger zone there. So the bearish Pima trigger zone between the 8 and 21 here in a downtrend is typically the opportunity to sell the rips. And we're seeing that move in the previous session, and now we are seeing a uh, defense uh, of prices at or above the midpoint of that rejection there. So you can definitely see it's two-sided trade right now. Those that believe that there's another re move coming, at least a retest of the recent lows, and then those that are looking to extend the push higher here. And again, how, how much higher do we go? Uh, easily we could see a, a bounce back toward 2700 that's the recent breakdown point here that would be a good 200 plus points from where we currently are but if we were to break down and and fail to hold the 2780 level 20 rather 2380 to 2375 zone that opens up a retest back to of the of the lows if not new lows ahead so right now we are building energy two-sided trade here and uh, again, short term off of the Monday low, we still see a very bullish near term bias here. And until price fails to hold 2375s, uh, that bullish bias, especially right now, remains intact until taken out. Uh, let's take a look here at the NQ. Now, the NQ down about nearly half a percent right now. You'll notice this one follows. The previous session here which is a bearish signal here inside the bearish Pima trigger zone there so you can definitely see price pushed up and has developed that that signal the previous session the midpoint retest here right there is in effect so far and is holding below it so again this suggests right now that given the downtrend given where price is and the, the sell here and holding below the previous sessions midpoint all of that suggests that we could be looking at another round of weakness ahead from this perspective um, but again same same deal here you have the strong low from Monday and the continuation higher which we sniffed out early Monday morning in our pre-market report and now you're seeing a failed new low on a short-term basis so again we're really kinda of looking at today's low can it continue to hold 7370 if so then perhaps we could be looking at uh, more strength ahead actually 7300 rather it can it hold above 7300 if that's the case then perhaps we can see short-term strength uh, a bit higher and the next level up would take you into about 8k to 8100 into that LVN above so those are the couple of zones here to continue to watch. Obviously, the trend is down. Bears looking to defend, and it looks a bit more prominent in the NQ versus the ES. But both continue to remain within their bullish short-term uh, counter-trend bounces. Here's a look at crude oil. Now, this one is down 3% today, but really hasn't moved much of anywhere over the last uh, week of trading. You can see down here... Uh, very very quiet price action here we did get a, a narrow range signal here for this five day range we're now one two three four five six seven eight days in um, for the most part here into a, a narrow range so if we were to increase this and do six seven at the very least 
it'll requantify it here for us for that seven day range one two three four five six seven so it's looking at these seven days and you'll see it's fifty two percent of average range for the current volatility of the market even though that five day range look how wide it is right now is way more than an average five day range would have been quite a, a bit ago it's quantifying against the current volatility which is good to have a tool that auto uh, corrects itself during any type of uh, volatility whether it's extreme or whether it's quieter it's always uh, best to have a tool that does that and right now uh, you see right here seven day range is narrow it's looking at this range we have a new key range here that we're watching and that gives us targets and upside break would put us into the 50, uh, 36 46 zone so 36 50 and a downside break takes us down into the 1250 level so 1250 to the downside 3650 to the upside and we continue to see a, a very clear town trending market here overall so uh, again neutral key range here very tightly compressed over seven days we have a 1250 target on the downside 36 on the upside based on this uh, range of movement here we could be looking at a very nice breakout move very very soon Lastly, the last thing to note about this one, it's been hugging the flat line from the previous week's close all week long. It's building that energy. Another big move is coming. And again, you have those key targets here, depending on which way we go. Lastly, looking at gold futures, you'll see that gold continues to remain bullish here. This one is up 1.4% here on a failed low today. Dropped below the previous session's low and has bounced tremendously that's a pretty solid move here uh, additionally the 60 minute chart shows a nice rejection in the wee hours of trading which has extended itself into uh, the 1660 level now trading 1656 again the idea here is that uh, we have a nice trading range from 1450 to 1700 that is developing we now have that range intact we could continue to trade in that range but given the the current market situation uh, breaking through 1700 opens up 18 to 1820 on the upside, 1800 to 1820 uh, as the next upside target based off the larger market structure in the weekly time frame. So again, we have an upside target zone between 1800 and 1820 that could be reached at some point down the road. And this pullback right now looking fairly strong. We'll see if it can continue to extend itself through 1700. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out the rest of the session. Good luck. Trade well. And I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.